All right, we're back. The final part. Holy shit, it's been a very long time since I've had a stream so long I had to split it. Also, my leg is killing me. Oh. You know what? Yeah, I'll stand up for this part. Yeah, let me see if I can adjust the mic appropriately. How do I sound, Jed? I'm not going to be streaming on Thursday, but I'll be I will be on call cuz it's a movie night. Okay, good. Having this microphone arm actually worked out quite well. book. The birthday voice pack? Jesus Christ. Prosecution will allow the defense to call forth all further witnesses. Holy shit. Yeah, I'll take you up on that offer. It's time to bring call out the real murderer. <laughs> Let's summon Bruce Goodman from the dead. All right, Damon Gant. We finally got him on the stand. And we have a tangible connection to this case. He doesn't have to give testimony? Holy shit, this man can end both our careers.
All right. I put a... I've tabbed out the guide for now, so we're going... We're doing this shit. With only my vague recollection of it. Ooh, boy. He had nothing to do with it, he says. Let's go. I think pressing him repeatedly is gonna blow up in my face, but I have to try. stopped all of a sudden. Already arranged the crime scene, he says. I don't buy this. Because she would have had to... She would have had to get there between... Between Neil's death, or between Neil being impaled, and Gant getting there, which even if he was trapped in an elevator, wouldn't have been that long. And move the body and start arranging it. The timeline is way too tight. The court record, I agree. Okay, we have to link Gant specifically. So here, let's see what we get, what we're working with. No evidence shall be shown without the approval of the police department. Unregistered evidence presented must be relevant to the case on trial. No evidence shall be shown without the approval of the police department. Here's, okay, so we have that. We could try to get him on that. We have the stuff he hid in his safe. A piece of cloth and cloth in the evidence list. That we do have testimony for. Because we could hypothetically get Gumshoe to testify if we really needed to. This, I don't really see playing into it. The thing that may be relevant is that the suit of armor could be in an inconvenient place. That made it unlikely for Neil to write his to write Emma's name in blood by reaching across to a pot. So being stabbed by a suit of armor would explain the autopsy report. I don't think we're gonna get anything done there. Same with the security video and the incident files. We have okay, we have the jar, which he was keeping a fragment of in his um, in his office. Yeah, Gumshoe's fired, but he was... He was there, and he saw when we opened the thing. So he could be called to testify still. Because he was... He did have access to the room at the time the evidence was uncovered.
Like, we've been able to bring in witnesses with far more tenuous connections than that. So unless the game wants to just, uh, you know, remove that option out its ass. That would be fair play. That's not relevant yet. I mean, we know Gant was the one in the room. In the evidence room. Actually, wait a second! I mean, we do know that he's involved somehow. He went into the fucking evidence room. So that's something we can get him on. We can also get him on the fact that he sent Edgeworth on a fucking fool's errand. But that's not related to SL9. That's related to the, the current case. There's the handprint on Blue Badger, but again, that's the current case. He did have the halberd removed from the trophy. Okay, so here, let's let's throw the book at him. Let's literally throw the book at him. Because, at the very least, he would have needed to sign off on the evidence used. No, that's not it. God damn it. Maybe the evidence list is what we go for? There we go. Okay, that's the more direct line. Because it was in his office. Yes, okay. Ah, uh, okay. Now we've tied him. Let me take a screen cap of this. If Detective Gumshoe's salary drops any further, he'll end up paying to work. Let's see, what was it now? A jar fragment and a list. Can't prove when they were discovered. Oh, he's going to press charges. That place. Okay. Here, let's let's press a bit and see what we can get. Can't prove when those pieces were discovered. They are found after Dark was convicted. Ah. 
There's no reason he'd participate in a forgery. Well, there is. He got promoted to chief of police. Rearranging the crime scene wouldn't help me out in any way. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, we, we, we're onto something, we're onto something. Wait a second. If he was going to become chief of police anyway, there, there is still one other benefit to him doing this. He has leverage on the person who would become the chief prosecutor. Oh wow, he just straight up admitted it. Holy shit. Yeah, there was absolutely something. Okay. <laughs> Judge, come on. Okay. Yeah, he helped Lana. That's my thinking. It's either Lana or um, Goodman. But I'd say it's Lana. Because who would benefit the most from Emma not being known as the person who killed this dude? That'd be Lana. Because Emma doesn't fucking remember anything. I mean, she was never aiming up, or she was never aiming to become chief of police. She said earlier that she was only, or rather someone said earlier, that she was only in the police department to gain experience to use as a prosecutor. Her goal was to become a prosecutor from the start. Judge, you're killing me, man. <laughs> Dead silent. Crickets in the courtroom. Okay, so now we wrap back the current case into it. Holy shit. <laughs> 
throw Edgeworth under the bus! Jesus Christ. Alright. Let's go. Okay, we need some evidence. Okay, so we need something to tie Gant to the murder of Goodman. So there's a couple of things we could do here. You could do the ID card record, because the, the full sevens is his ID. That's my first instinct. The second one is the screwdriver. Because... He's the one who sent Edgeworth on the fool's errand. Those are the two pieces of evidence that I think are the strongest here. When it comes to tying him to the crime. That's true, pun cakes. We wouldn't be able to prove all sevens is him, even though we know it from a safe combination. So you know what? Let's try screwdriver. Oops. Damn it. What happened in the evidence room? Okay, it is the fucking... the, the key codes. Ah. Uh... Okay. So I second guess myself on that one, huh? Yeah, it's your number, dude. Please. Tim went to meet with Gant. Wait a second. We, it could be the note. It could be Goodman's note. There's also the ID. This is the most relevant one. It could 
be the note, it could be the ID card, it could also be... One second. Oh, this one can only be submitted to the chief of police. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're right, pun. He did that. Okay, this is the part where that becomes relevant. Yes! Okay. It's the screwdriver! Because it has no relevance to the case otherwise. Because he told Edgeworth to take it for like no reason. Finally coming together. Can refuse to testify. Oh shit. Yeah, no, I I, I called it. That's why the body was in his car to be get, or why it ended up in his trunk in the first place. He's the one who drove it over. He didn't know it was the body. Do I have any concrete proof?
Let's see. I mean, it's proof that he ordered Lana to do it, right? We could go for the piece of cloth. Because that's a piece of... I mean, that was in his safe. So it's a, well, then again, he already cast doubt on our safe evidence. So he probably can't get away with that. Alright, this is actually kind of a... Kind of a toughie for me. The autopsy? One knife wound died within an hour and a half of 4 p.m. You know what? Let's just go with that. Oh, this guy. Only one person who can do this. It's Lana. Consequences. Wow. Just straight up threatening the defendant in a packed courtroom and gets away with it. Jesus Christ, this guy. He's working in my office! <laughs> oh no, he's gonna become the new Maya. So that's the timeline, huh? Forfeits his right to say anything. Oh, God. The 
a little closer to me. There we go. Alright, here we go. The final, final stretch. No truth to this blackmail theory. Hmm. All right, let's go. Hey, let's get let's get the present. Okay, there we go. Prosecutor of Ward Knife was stuck in the victim's body. Wait. The Prosecutor of Ward Knife? But that's... That's... That's the guy's knife. Yo. Hold on, that's a contradiction. That is very clearly the Switchblade. We can't say that because we don't know that. That's interesting. Yeah, Steel. Hey, good morning. <laughs> I'm on the final, final stretch. Okay. Oh, well, I mean, I guess why'd you move the bodies of Burton in question? We know why she'd plant the knife. Jar that were shattered threatened your plan. Wow, 
Wait. Jar had been shattered to pieces right away? If it was broken during their struggle, how would he have had a chance to write Emma's name on it? You know what? Here. Let's let's present the jar. Let's see if we can get her to uh, to mess up. Okay, good. Yeah, if it broke in their struggle... How the fuck would he have written the name? traces on the jar. It was dark in the room and I didn't have time to check it out. To be safe, I wiped away the blood. Okay. I wiped away the blood. Now that's a problem. So let's press her on the wiped away the blood. Okay, let's press her on that. What did you wipe away the blood with? See you, coffee. Have a good one. All right, let's go. We have a piece of evidence. We can go for this, because it has Emma's prints, not Lana's. That, I think, is the key we're going for here. Let me just see if there's anything else that we can go for. Shit, it's not the right one. Piece in the safe. Let's try the jar then. Okay, that was the right one, sure. Oh, that's right, yeah, because a piece did escape her notice.
Yes, okay. Can't beat her to it. And had already fabricated the scene. <laughs> the judge has a fucking breakdown. Jesus Christ. This case has definitely gone places. Wow, thanks. What the fuck, Judge? Here we go. She already found Marshall impaled on the suit of armor. Okay. I mean, we got one thing from Lana this morning. This we got the previous day, so it has to be this. from his vest. Oh. Oh, don't say that, Emma. Oh, fuck, why'd you say that? Oh! 
Yo! Holy shit! Interrupting a revised testimony to make an entrance, Jesus Christ! can still present evidence. We don't have a choice. I mean, they're gonna ask where the cloth went. We can't not show it. tells us is that she pushed him. What? Oh, shit! Did I fucking game over? Oh no! Oh shit! Oh, we had to not present it, we had to hold out! Oh fuck, how far back does that set me? Okay, that's not that far. Make a save a little closer to this point. There we go. There he is. Okay. No, I can't show it. Oh! We have to make him say it so he can't deny it. Hey, 
it's a Lobo. I see! So that's the difference here! Heal still! He'll still make us show it up. But now he ha he's the one who has to take initiative and expose himself. Yeah, no, let's show it this time. Yeah, unfortunately, I do know. Critical contradiction. Oh, 
Okay. Wait a second! It was already ripped out! Yeah, yeah, it was already ripped out when she got there, because Lana's the one who took this photo. That's what they were going for! The cloth has no blood on it! Oops. Okay, that's what the-, the oh my god! Oh my god, he cut the- he cut the cloth off! And then impaled him and then framed Emma. That's what they meant. Holy shit. this? Evidence book does say that as long as it's uh, relevant, you can present it. I mean, we're going to show him the book. For sure. I just want to cover my bases. Yeah, I'm not going to check the tape, though. Fuck that. Yeah, we got the locker, we got the glove. A bunch of stuff relevant to this part of the case. Or to the more recent part of the case, not the switchblade. Okay, so here's the line of attack that we're taking. We're gonna show evidence law, right? And here's the thing. 
As far as we knew, the cloth wasn't relevant until Gant made it relevant by bringing it up himself. So we didn't break any rules. Motherfucker. random piece of cloth. I didn't have to present it. I didn't know it was relevant. Yeah, best part's a Phoenix right. I went fucking Phoenix and Edgeworth. Just fucking tag team the or tag team one of the witnesses. It's great. Oh my god, look at him go! <laughs> Holy shit!
I see. Fuck. rare smile. Not guilty. Yeah. Gumshoe.
Holy fuck, I've been doing this so long! I missed the Ark Knight's, uh, reset. I had actually left the f one or two quests left. Because I ran out of AP. Or sanity. God damn it. <laughs> I was like, surely I can't be doing this until four in the morning. Little did I know. So sour. So I want to point out this case, this one case, is longer than the entire previous stream that we did. This is if yeah, this is effectively a game unto itself. Jesus Christ. This could have actually just been released as Phoenix Wright 1.5. This is longer than I could have possibly anticipated. Let me put it this way. I was expecting, even between both cases, to be done by 10 p.m. last night. 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4. We went six. We almost went twice over time. Oh my god. I'm sorry, what the fuck were they asking? I wasn't paying attention. Oh, something neither Edgeworth nor I would have been able to find on our own. Something that required both of us. Okay, I know what that is. Yeah, because we each had half of the drawing. The badge? Ah, oh, I should have done it for memes. What do you think would happen if I just showed the badge? Do you think they would have looked at me like I'm retarded? <laughs> and then all walked off. Fucking Edgeworth gets a day job as like a dry cleaner. Actually, he wouldn't even need a day job. He's fucking rich. Please, Edgeworth, please keep being a prosecutor. If you don't, the entire game, the entire next game is just all gonna be Francesca. And listen, I can only take so many whiplashings. Holy shit. I can't fucking believe it's four in the morning. I was hoping to not recreate what happened on... Uh, fucking what? 
Tuesday. But it's happening again. Oh no, I'm gonna be working on like four hours of sleep. You son of a bitch. <laughs> we fucking did it. Oh. I hunger. Beware, coward. Run, run, run. I'm in Europe. Thank you for the 500 bits, pun cakes. Thanks for the monster stream, Pino. Thank you very much, pun cakes. Hey, I'll say this. Good game. More uneven than I remember it being, but you know what? The good parts are really good. Oh, fuck. Man, I was gonna... do some Saber Wars shit on my own time after the stream, but oh, so much for that. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. What have I done? <laughs> so, chat. How are you holding up? a bit, yeah, I feel that. Oh, you're off today, teammate? Nice. this fucking thing. <gasps> it's finally dead. We're free. Holy fuck. Oh, my brain. I'm working, I'm functioning at a solid like 5% right now. But yeah, I'll say this, of the cases in Ace Attorney 1, I'm still going to say the Von Karma one is the strongest. Just in terms of how it's paced. I'd say, like, the Von Karma one is the best, then maybe this one, then the one with red-white. Steel Samurai was probably the worst of the set here, because it had the most... It had the longest and most drawn-out explorations. is one of the best characters. Yeah, but Gant is like a, like, less than half of the runtime 
Even if he's the guy pulling the strings, he's, he was less than half of the runtime of this fucking interminable case. Ah, it's Maya! God, here's hoping there's never a case this long again. Oh my god. Like, I don't think one session would have been enough to cover this. You know, like, even if I set aside one entire session just for this case. If I had done, a, like, a goal-length stream. I better be ready in- oh, let me do. here's what I'm gonna do then. I'm gonna look up which games are the longest cases and I'm gonna- I'm gonna- I'm gonna fucking avoid them. <laughs> I don't have it in me to do this again. Oh, not like this. Listen, I like the game, but fuck me. So the bonus trial for every game is this long? Yeah, guess what? I, I guess, I guess we're, I guess we're Maya supremacists now. No more bonus characters. We are fucking done. At least with this game. Game one is complete. Holy shit, I made a terrible strategic error trying to do all of Ace Attorney 1 and 2 streams. But you know what? We fucking did it. We absolutely fucking did it. It is done! Goal complete! I am freed! Oh, fuck. Oh, chat. It does it, it doesn't even feel real anymore. I don't know what I'm doing. It's four. It's why am I playing Phoenix Wright at four in the morning? I've lost control of my life. But you know what, chat? Now it's free. Movie night tonight. It's Halloween themed, so look forward to it. I got some spooky stuff. I got some funny stuff. But I expect it to be an interesting time. Assuming I wake up in time for it. And tomorrow. No, sorry, not tomorrow. Well, no, yeah. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. On Friday, is the Yu-Gi-Oh! Wager match. That's gonna be a banger. Uh, I'm looking forward to either drawing all my Garnets in my opening hand and uh, going 0-6 or whatever, or uh, Dumpstering Breaker. <laughs> either or. It's one of those two extremes. We'll see what happens. Well, that's it, everyone. I'm gonna fucking pass out now. Have a good night. Bye. Gonna send you off into the void this time, so do what you gotta do. Peace.